The Sandlot wasn't quite a home run with critics when it came out in 1993, but thanks to the indelible charm of his young cast and some genuinely funny lines, the film has become a bona fide cult classic and generational touchstone. What's the young cast been up to since the movie debuted almost 25 years ago? Let's check in on our favorite ragtag team. Tom Geary just 11 years old when he was cast as the new kid in town, Scotty Smalls, Tom Geary started acting to deal with the shyness and landed an agent after he was spotted in a local play. The Sandlot was one of his first big auditions, but he didn't initially get the part. Luckily for Geary, the other actor didn't work out, so he came back to screen test again and knocked it out of the park. Geary followed up The Sandlot with a role in 1994's Lassie and yet another baseball film, The Last Home Run, in 1996. The shy kid eventually blossomed into an actor who's mostly made a career out of playing tough guys. He's appeared alongside Sean Penn and Tim Robbins in Mystic River, went to war in Ridley Scott's Black Hawk Down, and navigated the Irish mob in the TV series The Black Donnellys. Geary mostly lives a quiet life with his wife and kids in New Jersey between roles. Mike Vitar. Though Mike Vitar made an impression on young audiences as his star player Benny the Jet Rodriguez, he only made a handful of appearances in film and TV afterwards. He continued to display his athletic abilities on film in two Mighty Duck sequels, but he quit acting in 1997. In the midst of his acting career, Vitar started training in emergency medical services, eventually becoming a firefighter in 2002. Unfortunately, not all of Vitar's actions have been heroic. He was arrested in 2015 after allegedly assaulting a grad student on Halloween, eventually pleading no contest to misdemeanor battery, and striking a plea deal to avoid a four-year jail sentence. Patrick Renna You're killing me, Smalls! Patrick Renna stole bases and hearts as Hamilton Ham Porter when he made his film debut at the age of 13 in The Sandlot. He reunited with castmate Chauncey Laparty two years later in the soccer flick The Big Green, following a role in Son-in-Law. Renna continued working throughout the 90s, appearing on favorites like Home Improvement and The X-Files, as well as a string of movies. More recently, he's appeared in the Kickstarter-funded film Bad Roomies, which he co-produced. Renna doesn't mind being recognized by Sandlot fans, telling MTV, 99% of the time, it's people that are remembering a great moment in their childhood and they're just telling me how much it meant to them. It's pretty awesome. His most recent project? Playing dad to newborn son Flynn, with his wife Jasmine. Chauncey Laparty Before The Sandlot, Chauncey Laparty made his film debut in 1991's Father of the Bride alongside Steve Martin. Just 12 years old when he played Squints in The Sandlot, he admitted he'd constantly pestered director David Mickey Edwards about when they'd be filming his character's kiss with lifeguard Wendy Peppercorn. This magic moment. <laughs> so Little pervert! Laparty worked quite a bit after receiving his poolside CPR, popping up in 90s faves like Casper with Christina Ricci, who he co-starred with again in The Opposite of Sex in 1998. He also played bully Allen on the beloved cult TV show Freaks and Geeks. Phil, you want some crushed nuts with your Sunday? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he also had a recurring role on Gilmore Girls. From 2009 to 2012, Laparty made a living as a professional poker player, but a big loss forced him into the job market. He lives in Los Angeles with his daughter and regularly appears at special fan events and screenings. Marty York like many of his castmates, The Sandlot was Marty York's screen debut. He followed the role of Alan Yeah Yeah McLennan with small parts on TV, but other than Sandlot fan events and a 2015 episode of The Eric Andre Show, the place he's appeared the most has been TMZ. The site reported he was arrested for alleged domestic violence in 2009. Since his Little League days, York has transformed from scrawny kid into buff personal trainer, and at one point he was working on developing a line of workout supplements he dubbed Beast Juice, inspired by the fearsome dog the Sandlot crew has to face. Brandon Quinton Adams one of the few kids in the cast who already had quite a bit of acting experience, Brandon Quinton Adams got his start dancing in Michael Jackson's 1998 music video for Smooth Criminal. He did a bit of TV in the late 80s and made his feature film debut in Wes Craven's 1991 horror flick The People Under the Stairs. After playing Kenny De Nunez in The Sandlot, Adams appeared again alongside castmate Karen Allen in Ghost in the Machine and appeared in The Mighty Ducks. After doing some voiceover work for the video game Kingdom Hearts 2 in the late 2000s, Adams pivoted into a hip-hop career under the name B. Lee. Grant Gelt 
Starting with a string of TV appearances on shows like Erie, Indiana, Grant Gelt made his film debut in the Steven Seagal action movie Marked for Death in 1991. However, playing Bertram Grover Weeks in The Sandlot gave him the biggest role of his short acting career. According to the Bleacher Report, he fondly recalls making the film, especially the night when the boys snuck into a screening of Basic Instinct. Gelt has since started a new chapter in his career, moving from artist management into a senior executive role at the artist-to-fan engagement platform Full Screen Direct. Shane Obazinski Actor Shane Obazinski's on-screen career was brief. He made his feature film debut in 1991's My Girl and was cast as little Tommy Repeat Timmons in The Sandlot a couple of years later after an audition in Orlando. Obazinski quit acting soon after and returned to Florida to finish school. After graduating, he toured for a few years with a local band and worked at several restaurants before opening his own pizza parlor in Brandon, Florida. Victor DiMattia he may not have been able to handle a certain treehouse vacuum cleaner, but Victor DiMattia certainly cleaned up when it came to booking acting jobs. Prior to playing Timmy Timmons, DiMattia appeared on TV as Dennis the Menace, as well as TV shows like Family Ties and Punky Brewster. He made his big screen debut in Turner and Hooch with Tom Hanks and worked with rapper Vanilla Ice on his ill-fated screen debut, Cool as Ice. DiMattia quit acting a few years after The Sandlot and pursued other interests, including playing in a band. He works as a bartender in LA, writes comedy, and hangs out on occasion with castmate Marty York, in addition to putting in regular appearances at Sandlot fan events. Marley Shelton The Sandlot cemented Marley Shelton's place as an all-time movie dream girl the minute she appeared on screen in Wendy Peppercorn's signature red bathing suit and white sunglasses. Up until that point, Shelton had mostly TV credits on her resume, but after The Sandlot, her career really took off. The California Blonde later appeared in Pleasantville and never been kissed. She also wasn't afraid to go grindhouse for Robert Rodriguez in 2007's Planet Terror. She appeared in the stylish Sin City and has worked with Oliver Stone twice in 1995's Nixon and 2008's W. While Shelton loved her time on The Sandlot, the role she's most proud of is mom to two daughters. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.